Greg, what a great opportunity to be with you at Brave Engineering in Suffolk. Now, I haven't had the privilege of being in Mindelheim. What, 13, 15 holes of machine tools that you build there? Unbelievable. But this is a little bit untraditional for Grob, but also this is the future. Tell us a little bit about your journey with Brave. Mark, I'm glad you said that, because this is a little bit different from the norm. This is, this is something that we're embracing. Um, Brave came to us in March of this year just as we were going into lockdown. And they had a component they needed to machine. They came to us and, and some other people as well, um, and they tasked us with machining the, the part for them. We could do this uh, in April at a company in Seco in the Midlands that we're partners with in Tooling that have a machine, and they have a T version of the machine, which this, this part we felt needed the T to be able to get it off complete on the machine. Um, so we took them up there, we, we took the part, they, they gave us some help with the technicalities of what we needed to do, and we took the part and we successfully cut it at Seco. They placed the order uh, with us in May and the machine was delivered in September. Uh, and one thing I, I'm astonished about is that one of the components they have been uh, machining on here, it did have seven ops and I think nearly two weeks and now you've reduced that to one op and a few days. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's, it, you know, they were, they were transferring apart from machine to machine. They were losing accuracy every time they did that. They can now get it off complete on the machine without any other machine being involved at all. And they can take control of everything on, on the part that they need to take. There was even a subcontract uh, part on that op, on one of those ops, that they now can do in-house. So they know exactly where they are all the time. They can really control this part. And for Brave, it's, it's been good for their customer. And they can go out now to the market that they're in and you know, perhaps get more work because of this. They, uh, they can now go out with confidence. They can do it as one on one machine. Now, they're doing a lot of valves here, but also traditionally they're big into their foundry, which is quite unique still. Uh, over the years, I've known that uh, some engineers said it's not an easy material to machine. How does the grob actually cope with that? It's not an easy material. A lot of, a lot of the castings that we know are, are, it's not easy to machine them. There are difficulties. Um, the rigidity of the machine, um, they've also gone on this machine for the high accuracy package. This valve that they make, this body, is very accurate. It has to be for the market it's going into. So they can, the, the machine is rigid and it can use the tooling. They get better tool life out of it because of what they can do now on this type of machine to processes they were using in the past. And when you look at some of your sales in the UK over the last sort of six months, we're seeing a lot more machines go into a general job shop than maybe some of your stronger sectors like automotive and aerospace. Yeah, this is where we're, we're building as a company, Mark. Um, we weren't very well known in, in this country. We were only known for the automotive industry. But every day now, we're, we're getting phone calls from subcontractors, from small shops, from medium-sized enterprises, you know, really different to what we've been doing. The, the great thing about it is, is we've been able to help these companies move into this new technology. This company had no five-axis machining before. The guy who operates this machine o only ever worked on a three-axis machine before, and they've really taken it on board. They're really, really racing with it. I mean, it's fantastic to see. It really is, in actual fact, it's a great success story for the UK. In the, these, these terrible times that we've been going through, everybody, the British manufacturing is still really, really doing no, great things and looking at ways of coming out of this time with new processes and new technologies where they can really be competitive on the world stage. And I think that's quite important, Greg, is that um, when I was speaking to Chris, your contact at Brave Engineering, he was saying that, you know, we're traditionally doing it this way, but let's do it a different way, a faster way. And I think that's where your consultative style at Grob really comes in. I've got this problem. How can I solve it? This is fantastic. I mean, Chris has done a superb job for both this company and for Grob because he saw the opportunity of changing something that they've been doing for a long time a certain way. This now has really changed it, really made a difference to their business. And, you know, this guy has really, really been instrumental in that. You know, Brave employed him to do that. He's done a fantastic job for them. And, the, and I think that the, the people who are in charge of Brave have been really pleased with the way it's gone for them. And, and, and we'll be looking to this type of thing in the future. They've got a lot of machinery here, um, but they can now uh, adapt and, and, and use a grob for parts they're doing on other machinery. It's mainly low volume here. It's, it's low volume, very, very high accurate parts here out of some tough materials. So that's, the, you know, the machine is doing a great job for them, but Chris has really seen that 
and, and, and really push for it internally as well. So, you know, you have to really give Chris a, 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 a heads up for that as well because he's done, a, he's done fantastic. And I'm seeing this a lot uh, in the UK and Ireland, future-proofing your company, but, you know, for any engineers that are looking for a big step up in machining processes, what's your message to them? Come and try Grob. You may not have heard of us before, but we're an extremely big company with an awful lot of resources, with, with, with a machine that's actually different to other people's. So we can do things that some companies just can't do on their machine. I mean, this project was put out to the market, you know, and we've, we've gained it. We took it, we embraced it right from the day one. We knew our machine was capable of doing it. We followed that through with a demo here, which we couldn't travel at that time to, to abroad to see machines, but we had that capability here to do. And we could show him, just, just bring us your challenges. You know, we're not trying to force you to buy a grub machine. We're just asking you to have a look at us, see what you think, see if it can do the same for your company as it's done for them. Well, this is a great UK manufacturing success story. I'm sure there'll be many uh, more machines sold in the UK and Ireland from Grob. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, thanks, Mark.